Hello violin players, welcome to Param Strings. I'm Henriette and this lesson is called Explore. In this lesson we're just going to continue our journey exploring uh, space in our shoulders, in our chest, in the way we play the violin, but also we're going to explore relaxation a little bit more and hopefully we're going to get you a little step in the right direction by enabling you to play with more ease. So we're going to be open-minded whilst we explore all these ideas today. Let's get started though with our basic stance that we had in all the lessons so far. So uh, spread your feet out hip width apart. Make sure that you play in your socks or in your bare feet so that you can feel the floor through the soles of your feet really well. Then what I'd like you to do is to tilt your pelvis so we're going to stack our spine and we're going to go make ourselves really tall and then we're going to go back to our belly breathing like we did in our previous lesson so let's check in with the breath first before we explore the rest of this lesson today so Breathe in through your nose as deep as you possibly can and send your breath right back to your hand which is placed on your belly. So you can see that I've got my right hand on my belly, my left hand on my buttocks. So I'm just going to feel the connection there. So breathe in through your mouth. Expand your tummy when you do that. Make your breath as long as you can and then breathe out through the mouth. Soften the muscles in your face while you take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Soften your legs when you take another deep breath in. Keep this going for a few more breaths, really checking in with that breath. Make it deeper if you can. Super, super. Now spread your arms wide so that you can pretend you've got the whole world in your arms here like that. So your chest comes up, so make your spine a bit longer, that's it, and spread your arms wide by maybe taking your shoulders back a little bit. Now let's take your arms up above your head and when you've got them here, can you suddenly drop your arms down like that? So your arms are up and suddenly you decide, I don't do anything anymore, I'm letting them flop down. And many people find that quite difficult. So again, spread your arms out wide, feel that space that you've got here, explore the room that you've got in front of you right here. Okay, take your arms further up, and then see if you can suddenly let go and drop your arms down so they flop down. Wow, and that is a skill that we need for good violin playing. Suddenly drop away the tension and feel it. So let's do that again. Find the space. Explore that room in front of you here where you're going to be playing on your violin. Now take your arms up. Take a deep breath in as you do that. And as you breathe out, let it flop down. Shall we do that again? So find this big space here. Explore that room here in front of you. Okay, this is my violin playing space, as I said. Sink your shoulders into your sockets here. Up, 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 up. Reach, 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 reach. Deep breath in. And now let go. 
Ah. Oh. Now, <laughs> I, I often say to my pupils, I would like to know how much an arm would weigh. If you drop that down, how much weight would that be? Of course, I will never know, uh, but I think it's a lot more than you actually think it weighs. And when you think about that, let's do that again. So broaden out, broaden out here, raise your arms, breathe in. Now, as you think about this here, let it all flop and think it's going to weigh a ton. Wow. And your arms just flop down here. Super, super. And you know how to suddenly let go of that tension so that your arms flop down. Let's now get your violin and explore how that works on the violin. So if you, like me, have just taken a few steps to pick up your violin, just find that space again. Feel the floor through your feet. Okay, so you feel that grounding. Uh, shake your legs loose so you haven't got any tension. Tilt your pelvis again. Straighten your spine and feel that space when we're going to put the violin up on our shoulders. Okay, now let's do that big circle like we had before and let's now place the bow at the heel on the G-string and what I'd like you to do is pretend you're now dropping your arm and letting it fall and letting it hang off the string just like that. Let's do that again, shall we? Lift your arm up, feel that space that you've got and now come down on the string with your bow on the G-string and now drop your arm down. Let that weight hang off the string. And when you've got this, let's move the bow and play a down bow. Now don't worry if that's hanging really heavy into the string and it's going to be quite a crunchy sound. That's okay because we want to explore that weight of your arm into the string. Here we go. So up we go and we're exploring this space again that we've got here, a massive space here in front of me, the space in which we play the violin, okay? So lift your arm up, grow a little bit taller by stretching your spine, dropping it into the string. Now hanging your weight of your arm into the string, just like you dropped it when we were having it in the air and you were dropping it down, in the same way, I'd like you to drop the weight of the bow and your arm into the string here. So you might want to let go of your elbow, drop your elbow down, drop your right shoulder down and really hang off the violin here. We'll do another bow stroke. That's it and feel that openness. Explore that space again. We'll do it one more time. Come down on the G string, drop it all down, hang off the G string and leave the weight into the string. You don't need to produce a beautiful sound right now. I'm just exploring what happens if you've just got all that weight into the string. Here we go. And awesome. And you're back to your space, your roominess here in front of you. That is really, really good. Now, this same technique, we're going to connect with the breath now, okay? So, we're going to start at your feet. Feel the floor. Make sure you've got soft legs. You might even step forward with your left foot, a tiny step, like we did in one of our first lessons in this course. So you get this nice and balanced stance. So feel the floor with all four corners of your feet, so you're not moving your feet in or out. Okay. <laughs> now make yourself tall. Lift up through the spine. Okay. Tilt your pelvis. So you tuck your tummy in and tuck your buttocks under, shall we say. And now we're going to see if we can find that belly breath. Okay. So breathe in through your nose. 
Send the breath right down into your, into your tummy and out through the mouth and again breathe in through your nose, feel your belly expand and out through the mouth and as we breathe out we're going to create space. Now breathe in through the nose, drop your bow onto the G-string, let it drop down whilst you exhale. <laughs> breathe in through the nose, feel that space, explore your space around you, let the bow fall down onto the G-string, drop your arm your elbow and your shoulder whilst you breathe out. And have that big space in front of you whilst you start to inhale. Send your breath down into your belly. Onto the G string, drop the weight of your arm into the string and exhale while you start to bow. One more time. Inhale through your nose. Make yourself tall. Up with your arm. Now drop it into the string. Drop your hand. Drop your arm, your shoulder into the string and breathe out. <laughs> amazing, amazing playing. And I'm thinking that you will have felt that every, on every breath when you were doing a circle and you were letting go, you were hanging off the string with more weight of your bow. And this is how we explore the, the power of the weight and the power of the breath, how that can start to translate. Remember, it's early days. In the course of this set of lessons, we will explore that even deeper and even further. And you've made an excellent start exploring how you can make the breath and the weight of your muscles and the weight of your arm and how you use it for creating more sound. So very, very well done. If you feel like you want to explore this more, then play this video again later on in the day or tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or next week because every time you come to think of it and go through the motions connecting those arm movements and that bowing with your breath, you will find a deeper connection and you'll find a deeper sound quality. So I'm in awe of you of getting this far and really opening yourself up to that exploration. Really well done and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Goodbye.